What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, but today we finally got in the interior light bulb LED upgrade. It's gonna be replacing all of the interior lights to LEDs today. I think they're a little bit tricky, but I've seen a couple of different tricks using some scotch tape to get those bulbs out because with slightly bigger hands, it's impossible to get um, my fingers up into where the lights are to switch them out. But that is what we are going to do today. As we can see, the rig is a little bit dirty. Um, we got a pretty big snowstorm um, the other day, or the ice storm. Um, so this thing is a little bit dirty. Um, so we're gonna get that cleaned up because on Friday, which is in two days, Friday night there is going to be a big um, car meet as well as Saturday morning there is cars and coffee. So we're gonna get this thing cleaned up and presentable to go to both of those. Um, so that's kind of an outlook on the videos. We got two car meet videos coming up after I post this, changing out the LEDs. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Let's start switching out some of the LEDs. Um, let's hop right back into the vehicle. All right, so we are back in the car. I'm gonna give it, I just um, opened the door. We're gonna let these lights cool down a little bit because they are a little bit, hot, little bit hot. But we went ahead and went with the lights from Diode Dynamics, which they sell on the Forerunner Lifestyle website. Um, just looks like this. Um, we've got kind of different variety of light bulbs to replace these lights up top. Replace these, I've got two lights in the side door panels to be replaced. I've also got lights up here that need to be switched out. So whenever you open that, we'll switch those to LEDs. Um, I've also got two lights um, whenever you open the trunk that need to be switched out as well. But this is the one that I've seen that's super tricky to get out. Um, and I'll show you guys here in a second once I pull that out of why it's super tricky to get in with your hands. All right, sweet. So what we're going to do, we're going to be taking off both of these caps right here. You take this plastic pry 20. This is the only thing they had at Walmart. It doesn't have a little hook on it. So it's gonna be a little bit challenging. Um, I'm gonna have to go to a buddy's house later. Um, that way we can get the ones in the trunk out because those are a little bit more difficult to get out. But you just pull down on that. It's not supposed to fall like that. But since I'm only trying to do it with one hand, um, that's the cover that just pops right out whenever you use the pry tool. Um, and as we can see, um, if I can, lighten this up a little bit we can see right there is the actual light bulb itself um, and my fingernails or not my fingernails my fingers can't fit up in that to get those out so we are going to be using um, scotch tape going to be kind of making a little hole uh, or kind of just like a catch thing i'll show you guys here in a second kind of a little bit hard to explain but you guys will see here in a sec all right so again i've never done this before i just saw it online but we've got our piece of scotch tape and we're basically just going to roll it to where the sticky side is in the inside of the circle um and that way we can really just put this end onto the actual light bulb um, and then we just start twisting it that way it kind of gra grabs it or grabs it and this piece um, kind of just shrinks as you keep on twisting it and then you should eventually be able to pull it out um, so let's see if this actually works because I'm very curious if we can get a hold of this light bulb take one did not work I did not make the hole big enough i did go ahead and buy a large thing of scotch tape because i figured i will be using this a lot again we've got our roll we're going to stick it up here i might have made this one too big but again once you kind of get it you're just gonna start twisting to where it kind of grabs the light bulb take three now because that one was too big so i'm gonna try to find a medium between both of the ones that I just did. Again, I hope this works. This is on Trail Forerunner, which I've used a lot. He's got some really good blogs of how to install stuff if some of the videos aren't making sense. But 
again we're just going to take this putting it up here all the way up to the top pressing the tape on all the sides and then start to twist that way it kind of grabs it and then slightly pull down and in theory this light bulb should pop right out which i think it's grabbed it wow would you look at there we got it no way so once we've got that's actually hype let's go once we've got that light bulb out as you can see that we've got that light bulb attached to the end of the tape stick it back in this trash bag here going to be taking i believe is the hp5 led bulbs yeah right here hp5 from diode we're going to just slot this back up into here and it should just fit right into these factory slots right here all right so i don't know if you guys can see that but we got that led bulb up in there now we're going to switch around to this other side and do the exact same thing with the tape method going to get this cover off it's gonna be a lot easier with two hands as you can see we're gonna put this one back in with the lever on the inside first and then clip this up into here as we can see did the test fit and when we press it on we do have led lights now which look so much better than the just standard yellow lights but let's do the same thing hopefully this goes exactly like the last one in terms of actually coming out with the tape once you find the correct size for the actual hole for the tape all right let's put the cover back on and test it real quick let's see where's the lever at this side lever again pointing outwards put that in first clip in moment of truth let's see let's see and boom both of them work let's go now that we've got those in as we can see as we open the door right here we have got this light as well to replace so let's get to replacing this one all right cool yeah so you can actually pull down on this to get the housing out and then i think this is just a simple clip that you pull down and away would be my guess yep so just pull out right there it disconnects again these bulbs are going to be very hot which then you can probably eject this out somehow got to figure out how to get this light cap off okay sweet so we've got that out and then should be able to just pull this out like that again might be a little hot just due to the fact that it was just on for a very long time so you might have to wait a little bit but it should be able to just pull straight out of the housing like so um, and then again we'll just put in the new hp5 lens take this same led that we put up that i just showed you I'm gonna put this straight in to there like so it should clip right in then you just put it back into the housing that it was in oh wait it's just be like this yeah like this sweet <laughs> it's having a little bit of difficulty with that and then this should just clip over like so let's see here how did this go in see i can't remember how i took it out it was just four minutes ago um should just slide in i believe but oh that should slide in like this boom got that clipped in now we're just gonna plug the housing back in and boom we can see that it did turn on 
which is a very good sign. And we're just gonna tuck that back up in there, clip that in, and boom, we've got LED lights on this side. Let's switch over to the other side. Probably won't show you, I'll just skip that. And then the next part is going to be up there. All right, all right, all right. We got both of these working now. As we can see, we've got that side in. I just showed you guys the other side. Let's step up into the vehicle now. And we've got to replace this light right here to be LEDs. And then we will switch to the back. Um, I'll show you how to turn this on. I replaced these already with LEDs, but I'll still show you how to get that one installed and then we've got the trunk to do and that'll be it it should take everything in total only about like 10 minutes to do not a very hard install just a clean aesthetic install that i really wanted to get done so i got this down the dude in biodynamics video just pulled that out but i don't understand i think it was already pre-pulled out so gonna do the exact same tape technique try to get that out um and then i will update you guys afterwards guys if you are doing this man this tape trick is really game changing just comes out in one easy pull we'll just replace that we'll put in just another hp5 led bulb into there and get it right back up all right we'll do a little slide test boom leds let's switch over the other one boom let's switch to the next one all right, so I forgot about the rear passenger door lights. Duh, gotta replace those real quick. Man, look at that gold now we're peeking in on that side. Let's see. A ah, little blurry, whatever. Anyway, got this side pulled out. We're just gonna pull out this light bulb. It's already in it. Again, really repetitive, but you guys have seen the same thing because this is just the rear passenger of the ones I did up there. Just gonna replace the LED bulb in there, put it back in to this housing like so should snap in like that and then we're just taking this big piece like so putting this oh other side like this it goes in like so and then you just snap it down like that plug it back into the harness and you guys will be on your way as we can see here we have got led power in these lights right here let's go flip the other side again same exact thing all right so i've already got all of that disconnected i'm gonna throw you guys up here because it's a little bit more shady on this side pull out this bulb that's in here put in the new oh Put in the new LEDs. Again, snap in. This connects into this right here. Boom. Then the cover goes back on like so. Here that snap, all good to go. Plug her back in. And we have, again, LED power right here. Boom last or i guess second to last step we've got this but again this is very simple you just pull down this cover in between those two only thing different about that harness which i'll show you guys because it's, it's the same in the trunk is these bulbs are kind of double side doesn't just clip in um you just stick it into both sides that way Kind of the connector on both sides and it lights up in the middle let's see if we can get this trunk pulled down and i'll show you guys all right so i think these are a little bit more difficult we'll switch both of these two off real quick got to connect down from the side of it i'm gonna have to put you guys down so i can get this off. all right so this looks a little bit more complicated you can see the bulb right there let me disconnect this that way we can get it down i'll show you guys close all right, so we got that disconnected. Just comes off in a big piece like that. I would assume we just take off that cover on both sides, and then I would assume they both, it just comes off. You replace that bulb right there in the middle and then plug it back in, should be good to go. All right, so this is what I was talking about that's different on these. You can see that 
it connects into the side right there. And if you just pull down on one of those tabs, it releases out. And then we just put in the new LED and it should just connect right up into it. Let me put you guys down again real quick. I'll see if I can do it from this side right here so I can show you guys. We're just gonna put one end, probably going to pull out on this side a little bit. And then we'll put both of the sides in and boom, just exactly like that. They should both ends be on there. We'll go ahead and throw this cap back onto here and again it should just clip back in and then we will test her out let's see here i would assume one side goes on first there's the top connecting going in there's the bottom let's throw this bad boy up into here cool Got that thing in there. Let's turn it on. Onto door. Bam. Super easy. Both on on. We'll leave it on door. That way whenever we open it, comes on. We'll do the same thing to this side. And then we will be done with this install process. Alright, we got this side up. Switch it to door. Bam. She is in. So we have got every single light in this thing switched into leds which again it's just aesthetics for me um well one thing it, that is really going to bug me is these leds or i guess they're not leds yet but this right here that light is going to make me so mad so i need to order leds that i can put into that that way all of the kind of small lights are switched into leds and not that just terrible looking yellow light that comes in the car which they should all be leds doesn't make any sense um, but that is going to wrap up the video today i hope you guys like the video hope you guys subscribe hopefully we'll go catch some car shenanigans either tomorrow night i get bet tomorrow night's a little bit more rowdy than cars and coffee on saturday morning even though cars and coffee is probably gonna have the better selection of cars tomorrow will probably be just a bunch of ricer stuff um, which does bring up a good point i am looking to buy a project car um, and i'm kind of leaning towards e36 e46 bmw um, just something that I could buy pretty cheap and build up on this channel for all of us to enjoy together um, but if you guys have any other suggestions for a good project build i'm kind of wanting to stay european not really want to go into any um, kind of ricer stuff any of that not that i don't um, dislike the ricer but i'd rather go kind of a little more classy a little more european just because that's what i grew up on was a bunch of european stuff um, and not the japanese but hopefully later um, i can get to the point where i do get into the jdm stuff but that is going to wrap up today's video guys if you guys like the video please plus subscribe please drop a comment if you guys want to see anything else if you have questions um, and then drop a like this support's been phenomenal i finally hit 100 subscribers we are now on the road to 150 um, so please 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 press that subscribe button and i will see you guys on the next one peace all right i know i already wrapped up the video but i wanted to give you guys an inside look of what it looks like with all the leds in We've got the fronts, the backs, the sides as well. As you can see, it, it lights up the car really, really well. Um, you can see everything, the LEDs are fine. I don't think they're too bright at all. I think they're just the perfect brightness for it. Um, so yeah, that'll wrap up today's video. Thank you guys.